MG, Fisher's Fire Department. Uh, what all happened out here, sir? We had a large pileup of vehicles. We're approximating about 30 vehicles at this time. Um, due to the black ice, uh, cars were not able to stop, and they just started going into each other one after the other. Uh, we've had six injuries out of this incident, none of them life-threatening. All of them were transported to local hospitals. Uh, crews are still on the scene. We're continuing to remove the vehicles uh, to try and get 96th Street back open again. Any estimate on when it will be reopened? We're, we're saying about an hour right now. So if you give us an hour, hour and a half before we start heading this way. Uh, we do have the eastbound open uh, one lane anyhow. But uh, if you can choose another direction to go, we would, we'd appreciate it. That school bus that was brought in, was that for everyone involved? Yeah, so we brought a school bus in. Um, we wanted to put everyone in a safe place uh, that would keep them warm and out of the elements. Uh, so Hamilton Southeastern was, was gracious enough to send us out a bus to uh, keep everybody in, in good shape. Uh, roughly what time did this happen? This is a little bit after 7 o'clock this morning. 7 o'clock. Um, any words of advice for drivers in a situation like this uh, with how quick it happened for you know, 30 different cars? Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're entering into the, the winter season. Weather, it's Indiana. Weather changes on us in a heartbeat. Ice comes out of nowhere. We just need to be prepared. Slow down. Um, take time to get the ice scraped off your windows in the morning. And uh, just be careful out there. Yeah, um, there were, when I arrived, there were still a lot of people in their cars that were sitting there for Yeah, so uh, particularly when you get icy situations like this, uh, when you're in an accident like this, just stay in your vehicle, keep your seatbelt on. That's Get the most protection right now. Having your seatbelt on, having your airbags available if they need to be deployed if, if there's more impacts afterwards. So, um, in those situations, when outside you have no protection. Plus, now you're dealing with the ice while you're standing on it. So, staying in, in your vehicle is the best place for you to be. Hey man, who's all here? I know you guys are here. Carlos here. So, uh, it's. Uh, Hamilton County Sheriff's Department is the, uh, the lead police agency on this, uh, so they're sorting out all the details on this. Uh, Fisher's Fire Department, Carmel Fire Department has been here to assist the patients in Hamilton Southeastern uh, with the school bus. Uh, but in addition, uh, we have uh, records from all across the county coming in uh, to try and get this cleared up as quickly as possible. And then I know it's kind of a silly question. I've, I've 23 years of covering news, I've never seen a crash like this. Have you seen one like this in Carmel? Uh, we, we've had uh, accidents uh, with a number of vehicles to uh, enter before. Uh, in uh, 69 uh, involved fatality a number of years ago. Uh, and, and we've had them uh, you know, throughout the county. Uh, they're, they're a little bit on the rare side, which we like. Um, but generally, we want to keep everybody pretty safe. So, again, we just want to remind everybody, slow down, get the ice off your little chills, take the time. You know, that black ice, you can't see it. Uh, and it sneaks up on you very quickly. Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank do you know what hospitals they were transported to? We don't have any hospitals. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's Carmel buses. Carmel High School. Carmel 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 School.